Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mark's Garage here on West Coast Supercars and Classics. Uh, thanks to all of those of you who have uh, had views and comments on my other how-to videos, uh, particularly that uh, you know um, clutch pedal installation and replacement video that I did for the RX-8, which is uh, over there. At the moment, uh, we've got our West Coast Supercars branded Porsche Panamera, our 2014 e-hybrid car. And the task of today is that we are going to put a Thule rack system on this car. So I thought it would be fun to do a little unboxing and whatnot to show you what's involved in the kit. And also I can explain very briefly why I decided to go with this kit rather than the Porsche kit, which is made exclusively for that car. The simple reason is that the Porsche kit cannot be used on any other models, including other Panamera models. So it just didn't make sense for me because if you change cars or whatnot, you want to be able to uh, take the rack and put it on there. Uh, so in this Thule system costs a little bit more, but we'll see how the installation goes and then we'll go pick up our canoe. So as you can see, the kit comes with three boxes. This seems to be some kind of a fastener kit, I would imagine. These are the Thule podiums in here. So those are the lockable uh, towers that go on that the bar attaches to. And then I purchased this uh, wing bar. This is kind of a, a sort of an upscale bar. You can get a simpler kind of a square, uh, I think it's a steel bar, a coated steel bar or a painted steel bar. And this is made of aluminum if I'm not mistaken. And it has more of a uh, contoured profile so it's supposed to reduce the wind noise when you're at speed. So I thought that would be a good addition. These cost about another hundred bucks from the basic bars and they also hold a bit more weight I think. Alright, let's see what we've got in the podium box here. This open. Oh, wait. There we go. Voila! Not sure how these things work. I'm going to have to have a good look at it. For those instructions, what's this here? A little bag of. Not quite sure what those are. Fasteners, definitely fasteners. Oh, and there's even a little tool in here. Interesting. That's good. <clears throat> I did get the lock kit for this as well, which is not much money, but anyway, you can lock these towers onto the car so nobody's gonna take off on them because they're kind of expensive. Okay, next, let's move that aside. Let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, don't have to cut this one. <clears throat> Got some L brackets here for those. Couple more tools, some kind of a hex tool, some washers, some uh, bolts, and some sleeves. And then you have these rubber attachments. And I have to obviously get the instructions to, look, to see how to put all that together. Handy dandy instructions. Okay, so that's that box. And then lastly, of course, we have the bar. Now I'll put the uh, product numbers in the description of the video so you can look them up if you want references. That's pretty hefty actually. It's got a good weight to it. Interesting. What else is in there? I heard something in there. Hmm, probably just a spacer. No, it's got a measurement tool on it. All right. Anything else? No. All right, so that's it for now. It's time to read the instructions, obviously, and then we'll start with the first uh, part of the installation, and I'll show you that on the Panamera over here. So, uh, this is some kind of a wing bar load thing, apparently. There's four of these in the kit. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what these are. I haven't read that part yet, so I'll have to look that up. So let's get started with it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble these brackets and then those are going to be mounted onto the 
towers. So let's have a look and see how they are put together. All right, so it comes with eight of these 16 mil uh, bolts here that you're gonna tighten up with this hex key tool. And uh, each one of these little rubber sleeves has some um, slot, some actual um, little wings to hold in each of these brackets. So you put the bracket in, you've got four holes here, two holes there, and a little dimple there. So you slide that right underneath. All right, that looks good. So we've got four of those. And the next job is, is we're gonna attach this to the tower. Just gonna take the tape off. So now if you look at the tower and you take off the tape, you just remove the cover part. And here you see that the two holes are gonna correspond right there. At the back of it, there's a little tower here and there are two threaded areas here that you are going to thread into. So that's where our 16 mil is going. So let's get that started. So I'm gonna just go with firm. For now, let's see what it feels like. Yep, that should do it. All right, now we've got all four of these done, the tower is done. So as you can see, that's where the bracket fits in. Got your two bolts. And obviously your main post that is attached to the car is gonna come through this part here. So it is time to go to the next step. Let's have a look at the, instru oh, the instructions are under here. So. so here we are on the driver's side and obviously this is a fixed point installation. So you just need to first flip up your little cover here. And there's gonna be a little spot so we can mount on that. All right, so the first thing you have to do is remove this little rubber plug that's in the uh, hole. Put that in the bag for safekeeping in case we need it for later down the road. And you're gonna take one of these posts, obviously there are four of these, and on one end, you can see that there's a little sleeve here so you can only go in so far so we're just going to thread that in that has a little uh, three millimeter hex tool to uh, tighten that with okay that's good okay we're going to do the other uh, three and we'll get started with mounting the posts onto it by the way uh, we've got our 1929 studebaker the black beast here at the moment walk around so I can show you the front of it. This is a fun vehicle. Got my Cars for COVID stickers on the side now. Those are all printed by M2 Graphics, by the way, on Langford Parkway. Same company that did this beautiful gray satin wrap on this car. There's their little logo there. If you see our car around town, you'll see this thing and you can't miss it because of the stripes and so on. Anyway, that's the 29 Studebaker. And it's here for the moment. I'm going to do some work on it, and uh, it's nice to have it back for the moment. But one of these cars gets kicked to the curb if there are three cars, obviously. So the GT3 is outside right now, taking a bit of a having a sunbathing session out there, and it will go back in once we finish the Panamera. Well, here's a little update for you. It does have a torque spec for all this stuff. I hadn't read it at first because I thought it was just something obscure. It is two newton meters so that's equivalent to about one and a half foot pounds so that's not much and for the other ones on the brackets they're six newton meters so that does give you the idea so i checked around a little bit just loosened it and just wanted to see how much force i put in. yeah it's, it sounds about right you feel it tighten up once it's snug that's good you just have to make sure it's snug enough there but do be careful about these things don't over tighten them Okay, so now we've got that in. The next stage is to put the little sleeve over top of it. And right now I'm just going to finish this one off. And we're going to take one of the feet. Put a washer on. 
put the nut on and this is tightened to six newton meters as you recall once again all of these tools are in the kit so you don't actually need anything else although i did use a little pair of uh, needle nose pliers just to get off the uh, plugs off the car in the first place and also here this feels very solid so geez can practically rock the car with that so i don't want to over tighten that i'm going to leave it at that for now i will check these again because you can just take the cover off pretty easily i'll check them again uh, just to make sure that nothing's loosened up obviously i want to make sure it's all looking good but we'll finish off the rest well here's some interesting things about this wing bar evo you get a strip of rubber and you're supposed to split it and then uh, push it in in the it's actually going to reverse itself once you split it i don't really want to split it it kind of feels creepy to do it but that's what it says to do so i'm going to do that and then i guess you're supposed to press it in what does it say if i look like i don't know what i'm doing it's because i don't know what i'm doing this is my first time doing this like you're, you're supposed to, it's supposed to slot into this area here. I've just got to adjust it. If I want to make it perfect, it has to be right at the edge and I didn't get it. So I'm going to do it again. I should have been more careful about this end of it. This time I really want to line up that edge just to make it neat. There it goes. Okay, now I got it. bit at the edge but we'll get that I will try and do a better job of this one maybe that's why it fits better same profile though, so it shouldn't make any difference. Okay, times two. So I have discovered that in order to get this on the car, I'm gonna have to take the uh, towers off and install this off the car because I wanna loosen it up and also I need to slide it to the uh, right length to get it to fit and I couldn't I couldn't slide it on anyway without uh, loosening stuff up. <clears throat> so I'm just doing that and you want to have the front of the car to the uh, round edge of the kind of wing shape of this so the uh, Thule name goes up toward the back of the car. Anyway, so I'm going to put it on now. How far can we slide that? We can slide further than that. Quite a bit of adjustment. Come around this side. Excellent. I guess I'll just make sure it's more or less the same back front, side to side. Now we want to put the end caps on, so let's do that. Those will look kind of nice. Let's finish this one off. Obviously these things have to come off. They got a little clip on them. These things have to come off <clears throat> if you're going to install and remove the rack because you have to slide it on. Make sure to click it into place. Now before we do anything else, 
tighten these back up. Very secure. That feels very secure. Just for today, because I'm just going to go to the lake and pick up a new canoe that we just got. I'll just be lazy and I won't put the locks on just at the moment because we're just going to go out there. Pick the canoe up and then we're coming right back home. Alright, so we push it all the way in and then it's supposed to lock, eh? Let's see. Looks like that locked. Alright, that's one of them installed. Do the same thing over again and then we've got the whole thing done. It should take me about five minutes to get that done. All right, so I think that's got it for now. Got the new Thule system on the car. Took me a little bit of time just to figure out the, you know, the way the hardware works, because I've never done one of these before, but it's not that complicated. I thought it'd be interesting to just show you that process, and uh, I've never used one of these fixed mounted systems before. So I'm looking forward to getting the canoe in the water. First, we have to get the canoe, because we just bought it, but, um, I will definitely show you some shots of the uh, canoe on top of a uh, Panamera. Maybe it's the uh, first time somebody's done that, but I doubt it. I mean, these are pretty much family cars. Um, we take it camping and stuff like that. So yeah, this is definitely one of the best road trip cars you could ever have. It's like in incredible, incredible car. Great gas mileage, so smooth on the, on the hard roads, on the difficult roads. And uh, it's got tons of power, so, so you know it's very easy to cruise along at a good speed. And now, it's got carrying capacity on top of it. So yay, maybe we can have a storage bin or something like that. So looking forward to that. Anyway, we'll get it to the lake. <laughs>